All right, how are you feeling, champ? Oh, bro, first time waking hell early, but taking an M4 to the track. First time, first track day. Of course. Some people are already parked next to us. session it's just gonna be a follow and drive so hopefully it won't be too bad but gonna go slow let the tires warm up and uh, hopefully we don't spin out and become a statistic today when the Gapunta like took him and just like fucking faking on the side. Yeah, hope I don't like pass out. All right. Yeah, after the ride along with the C7, we used the little time we have in between our runs to go meet new people and talk about the M4. Here you have some corner like 80 miles per hour, you yeah. know, so you, it helps so, you. So maybe, yeah, maybe. Maybe the canards might actually help. I came like from my M4, I know how you drive, but yeah. I think yours drives a little better because mine was more stuck. This but is stock suspension too. Okay. Suspension, so everything's stuck. I just have a lower spring. Yeah, it just caused me about a, a thousand and this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. no, because I heard like the lower And it wasn't like long before it's like time for the second run of the day. And here I'm following a 991 GT3 RS. And what you're seeing right now is our last lap before our, we need a pit and yeah it was so much fun my first session of lunch and um no no it was real fun there's novice it's novice so there's actually passing allowed and 
luckily, everyone is very self-aware. They, you know, they're a signal at everyone's pass when you're being, you're about to be passed. So it's good. Um, yeah, I was just feeling tired, bro. Yeah. Over here, this treadwear. Yeah, no, don't take. Like, bro, you, dude, this is almost gone. I got these RE71 RSs. Um, I got these RE71 RSs, what, like, put on June. We ran, like, 10 autocross events. Not, maybe not even. 10 or less autocross events each run. There's each event 10 runs. I'm pretty sure these shoulders are gone. Yeah, no. So, do not take RE71 RSs to the track. You will burn through them so quickly. They had, they actually had tread before I started today. Now, these are slicks. These outer shoulders are slicks. So it's just like, for what, $330 a set, single tire. So, $1,400 gone. Well, actually, each of those tires probably cost around 400 plus. So, anyway, this is a very expensive sport and hobby. My point still stands. Should have done more book club. In the morning session, I should meet friends with some of the advanced drivers, and one of them offered to do a ride along, give me some pointers, uh, help me adjust my line so I could have a, a faster lap time. Later on, he even offered to drive my car and show me how he would drive a car since we both drive very similar platforms. He drives a 400C, so you know, front engine, rear wheel drive primarily. And of course, I asked him for a ride along in the 400C. It's pretty mind boggling experiencing another car and how other people drive. Everything always feels faster when you're riding in a car and you're not in control. Right along, best way to learn. Let's go. Sorry, the camera got knocked when I was moving around, so the for the last run, that camera angle is messed up. Sorry about that.
we concluded track day. The GoPro battery died, so whatever. Um, overall, it was pretty fun. Really worth it. For a sub $300, you got over two hours of actual on track time and a bunch of guidance from older, uh, more experienced track folks. So I think it was, as my first track event, it was probably as good as I think I could have gotten. So, um, and yeah, definitely gonna go on to a more track days with M4 right here. But before we go into the next one, biggest thing I need to get is um, camber plates because um, I mean like the I had stock camber so it's like one and a half degrees front one and a half rear and it's kind of dark in here but I'm not sure if you could tell like these are the front you see these treads are pretty much gone albeit it wasn't much it's, albeit it wasn't very thick initially but compared these are the rears like they are still they still have some and i rotate them front and rear for autocross and it was uneven wear already so but just going for like 20 minutes straight while so just beating on these tires especially how soft they are so we're trying to try where they're like these super 200s they wear faster so camera plates definitely will help me get more life out of these uh, tires as well as probably getting more grip around the corners but that being said having these tires on for my first track date was like a cheat code compared to um there's my peers who are driving with like most of them were driving with like ps4s or so just normal summer high performance tires like you you could obviously feel the, like the limitation of grip compared to you know super 200s so this amazing initial uh track weapon uh th there were some who saying like yo like um one of the guys telling me if you take an m4 especially these new ones jd2s to the track it's pretty much you could just get a fast track time without actually having any skill because the car is so good at masking uh your errors um i only drove the mdm mode on because i didn't have track insurance for that day it makes no sense for me to get like the track insurance like fifteen hundred dollars for a day even though track was only three hundred dollars i don't know it didn't make sense for me but i only drove mdm mode even then like there was barely wheel switch the car feels completely under control you know when the wheel the rears want to slide out it'll save you a little bit but it, you already feel you have so much uh control and over it that like uh, I, don't, I think it was fine it, i could say that like i was definitely uh, I only hit my personal best at like 117 around lightning and it was like it's not bad for a first timer but like there's still so much performance on the table like I know fast people on the track be hitting 108s, 109s like that's next level and of course that's the goal for next time but we're back and since this M4 has gone through around 10 autocross sessions uh, each session what there's like 10 runs so it gets beat on it's my daily i just had a finished track day with it so and it's around 5,000 miles left since my last oil change so it was a perfect time to change it every 5,000 miles because i do get free oil changes every 10k but i think just to stay on the safer side due to how much i beat on it just switch it every 5,000 miles so yeah we're gonna do a quick oil change and uh yeah be excited for the next track day so thank you guys so much for watching um hopefully i'll be filming more of these track days maybe these uh add some more povs for track days and autocross so comment down below if you like it and i'll catch you guys next time peace